Now, Natalie, I know you're interested in preventative anti-aging. Can you tell us a little bit about your particular concerns? Yes, so I just turned 30. Thank you for saying I look 20. <laughs> um, so I've just started to notice changes in my face. Um, my main concern is my under eye, um, especially when I wake up in the morning, but even I notice it in pictures that it just looks hollow and I'm always looking tired. Um, so one of the things I'm interested in is getting that filled so I look more well rested. And then in general, just because I've noticed changes, I'm interested in Botox because I know starting it now will be better for me in the future. So Jenny, let's talk about how we can address that under eye area and these kinds of concerns Natalie's talking about. Okay, so for Natalie, um, we're gonna be using a filler, a hyaluronic acid filler called Redensity. I love that filler because it's not um, water loving. So when it's injected under the eye, it's not gonna swell up. It's just gonna be as is. It's just a very, 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 very tiny amount that fills into that groove that's making her um, look tired. And as we age, we do lose a little bit of the volume underneath our eye. It makes us look tired. It makes us look worn out, even if we had the best sleep. We're just gonna add a little bit under um, I'm gonna be doing it live also too I mean that's what we're doing today like looking at you you look very refreshed I wouldn't add anything else um, I would just add just a little bit of the filler underneath the eye we use a cannula technique it's very very safe very comfortable patients are just you know they could have a conversation with me as I'm doing it their eyes are open they could go back to work that same day, go out that night, go to work the next day. They don't have to take any time off. Natalie, if you just look out over the audience, look up just a little bit. So what most people, um, and don't smile, what most people who come in who are like Natalie complain of is they complain of bags, right? Fullness. Natalie's 30 years old. She doesn't have bags. What she has is a ligament called the orbicular retinacular ligament, which pushes down right here. You see right there? She's got a little shadow. That ligament holds your skin down. And normally when you're a baby, you don't see that ligament because your face is full of fat, so you don't see the ligament. All we're doing is we're just seeing that ligament. She hasn't grown a bag, but that ligament's like a valley. And so that valley accentuates the fullness above it, what we call the uh, subabicular fat. So in the old-fashioned days of plastic surgery, the only thing that we could have done for her is to take out a little bit of the fat, but that would have given her a hollow-looking eye. And lots of bad results of plastic surgery are hollow looking eyes. We don't do that anymore because we have fillers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in the valley over the ligament to give her the fullness that she used to have. And are we doing it right now? Um, at 5.30. You're gonna end. see it, the difference right, right away. We'll take a picture before and after and um, that valley will be gone. It's like the most exciting thing in plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so Jenny's gonna be doing that right here, uh, right when we're done. And Natalie, have you had injections of any kind before? So like you, I had Botox once. It was sort of a one-off type thing, so I've never kept up with it, and I don't think it was a lot. Is there anything that's kind of got you nervous about getting injections today, or how are you feeling? I'm actually really, really excited. <laughs> um, I've seen a lot of before and afters on Instagram, and it's something I've always wanted to do. It's always bothered me in the last couple of years, so I'm actually very excited. <laughs> So one thing that Jenny said, she said we use a cannula. So cannula is a non-sharp, uh, it's not a needle. So it's not a needle, it's a blunt tipped, uh, it's a blunt tipped needle, but it's not a needle. It's not sharp at the end. The port is on the side, so with a ca the product comes out the side. And so that makes it like it actually doesn't hurt because it's not sharp. Uh, she won't feel anything. 